I found this kingdom.com with this kingdom podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking all about our thoughts on the Marvel Studios Black Panther trailer, which broke this week. weren't really really expecting it. I thought it was going to be a while till we saw it, maybe till Spider Man or um, even for Ragnarok, but we've seen it quite early. So, um, what did you think of this um, trailer, Victoria? Well, when I heard it was coming out, I was really excited because, like you said, I wasn't expecting anything until like closer towards like Spider Man or even D twenty three. So I was really excited. As far as the trailer, I honestly think it was awesome. I loved everything about it. Yeah, it definitely stood out to me as being again very different. It's part of the same thing with the Marvel universe of doing something very differently, but at the same time doing it in its own way. You know, we've been introduced to the Black Panther before, but we're going to see a lot more of Wakanda, we're going to see a lot more of the people there. Um, I'm just really intrigued because I know so little about the Black Panther. I think that's what's so intriguing about this one. Um, yeah, I I only know what I've read in the comics, basically. So, mm. and I just recently got into more about Black Panther, trying to broaden my horizons as far as Marvel. So what I've learned so far is pretty great. Mm. And I honestly love the entire cast. Whoever, all the people they've chosen for this cast was very well done. I think there's going to be a great movie just based off the cast alone. Yeah, I mean, it definitely kind of, um, you know, it's that thing as well from the point of view, obviously, as, you know, set in Africa, it is primarily sort of African-American casting. And, I mean, they've really kind of gone, you know, for some really great actors and actresses in there. Um and just in general, it's like this kind of cool thing, like, you know, we got Wonder Woman currently um, kicking up a storm in the box office and stuff. And I'm looking at Black Panther going, okay, we've, you know, it's like, well, we've had Blade, we've other ones. It's just like, this just looks so great. And I, you know, the way they've kind of got the hip hop music in there as well. And it, for me, looking at watching it, it looks interesting because it looks so different a bit. And that's what I think so intriguing about it. A bit like Luke Cage was. Yeah, I definitely did get some Luke Cage vibes, and Luke Cage, you know, isn't really a popular hero. No. You know, he was made during, he's a product of his time, sort yeah. of like um, Iron Fist. So, yeah, I think the way they updated Black Panther is really going to get fans excited to see the movie. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing of, like, how Wakanda looks so... Uh, futuristic and it's kind of hidden from the rest of the world and this is where we're going to find out about what's going on back there you know he's got all his like queens and stuff there you know they look like they can kick some ass as well um just in general you know and even as the fact of having i think it's andy cyrus or the guy that there's like all the voices and gollum and stuff you know, him coming across as quite mad and quite kind of you know now you're going to find out about it and i just like the idea of him playing the main bad guy himself rather than just for a character yeah, I, I honestly, at first, I thought he was a really interesting villain choice, but then, you know, I kind of did a little bit more research on him because I wasn't too familiar with him. But once I did, I, I was like, okay, I can, I, I can accept him as the, <laughs> the main villain. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it definitely kind of kicks off um, what we saw in Civil War, and I'm just generally, I'm sitting here going, okay, this looks very different, looks a bit more... In some ways, it looks gritty and real, but at the same time, it looks completely futuristic with the, you know, the like almost like spaceships and like different place entirely. And I'm just sitting there going, after you know, we've seen like with Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant Man, you know, Marvel can really now, you know, they can stretch their wings a bit and take a little bit more risks. And I just think this one just looks intriguing. I mean, it's not out till February, it's out for, not for, out for quite a while. But um, any other thoughts you had on this trailer? Um. Not really. I just, I just was very excited to hear that a trailer was coming out so soon. Like, like I said, I really wasn't expecting anything this soon. But I'm, yeah. from what I've seen, it lo- it just looks great. I'm mean, very excited. Yeah, I mean, I will be honest. I don't know whether or not you know. I mean, I was expecting maybe D23 or um, San Diego Comic Con <laughs> would have made a little bit more. So just randomly, just dropping out of nowhere. You know, we're months away from it yet. You know, you know, all the pushes on Spider Man. We've still got four Ragnarok. It feels like, you know, there's quite a lot of movies before that. I mean, like some people said, it depends whether or not they're holding back because they're gonna, we're going to get our first sneak peek at the Infinity War around that time instead. Yeah, I feel it may tie in sort of to the D23 panel because there will be one on live action movies, Marvel and mm-hmm. Lucasfilm. So I know for a fact they're going to be doing something with Black Panther and Ragnarok. They did say that, so I'm, we might see more there. 
they might this might have just been like a little sneak peek, but we mm. might get more like behind the scenes kind of things with yeah. Black Panther and Thor. But we'll see. No, definitely looks great. I mean, I was really kind of intrigued by this whole trailer. And again, it's just being something fresh and different. And I think that's the, the key thing of what I'm looking forward to from this one. Yeah, like it definitely stands out compared to the other Marvel movies that we've seen, which I really like. Yeah. Well, on that note, guys, I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about the new Black Panther trailer. Let us know in the comments below, or you can get in touch with us on all the different social medias. Remember to check us out over at Disney Kingdom. Hit that subscribe button on this YouTube channel. Um, as I said, um, a couple of weeks ago, we kind of split up the YouTube channel, so this one's going to be all featuring all the Disney Kingdom podcasts. Also going to be giving away a copy of Cars Free Driven to Win, which you can win on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or Nintendo Switch. So you can check that out over at thiskingdom.com forward slash giveaway, so you might want to check that one out as well. On that note, Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram. He calls me Pineapple Princess. And Twitter, he calls me PC. Okay, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. We shall see you guys soon. Laters. Bye.